All right, it's time to do another taste thing. Uh, Pete eats. Uh, I have in my possession something that I bought uh, this past weekend that I kind of bought on a lark. Um, I don't know if you've watched any of uh, Brad Jones or the Cinema Snobs uh, Brad Tries series. Uh, one of the things that he always makes known in those particular shows is how much he hates dill pickles or pickles in general. Uh, now, I tend to like pickles. I think the pickles are pretty good. I don't eat them all the time, but I certainly go through phases where I do like to eat them. And I was doing some grocery shopping this weekend, and uh, and I stumbled upon these. Uh, these are Pringles dill pickle or screaming dill pickle uh, chips. Uh, extraordinary flavor, it says. I really don't know how these taste. I don't know anything about them. All I know is that, A, I like pickles, and B, I like Pringles chips. So if you add those two things together, like plus like should, at least in theory, equal like. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to try some of these right now, or I'm going to try some of these right now and see exactly what I think. Uh, I've done two of these Pete Eats or Pete Tries or whatever you want to do videos in the past. The first one I did was for uh, Count Chocula cereal bars, uh, and those were really good. Uh, the next, let me try that again. The next video that I did uh, was on Canada Dry uh, ginger ale and lemonade, which was a mix that I thought was okay, but certainly didn't blow me away. So... We are one and one, so this is going to be kind of like the, the tiebreaker to see who gets ahead. So let's go ahead and open this up. Oops, didn't mean to hit the microphone there. Whoa. Oh, whoo. Okay. So I'll tell you right off the top that these, this smells like a jar of pickles, which is a good sign. Uh, now, I tend to like salty things, so I, I, I'm feeling pretty good about this, uh, but we will see. So, here it is. looks just like uh, a Pringle. Uh, nothing different here. It's not green or anything. Here it is right there. Okay, let's try it. Mm. Mm. Yeah, these are pretty good. There's definitely that pickle taste. There's no question. It's like somebody ate uh, a bunch of pickles from a pickle jar, left the pickle juice in there, and then they took these chips and they just put them in there and they let them soak and then dry and then they put them in a package and they resold them. Mm. Yeah, these are pretty good. I think these are going to be coming with me uh, to school this week. Mmm. Yeah, these are pretty good. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not like the... I'm not a crazy, like, always got to have pickles and everything kind of guy. But I go through phases where I'll go to Walmart or whatever the grocery store is that I happen to be at that week. And I'll see a jar of pickles. And every so often I'll just be like, yeah, I want to have some of those. But I always get chips. That's a, the, I, I eat chips like every week. So to have some that taste like pickles is kind of like uh, killing two taste birds with one stone. Mm. Mm hmm Yeah. Mm. So yeah, these are these are pretty good. I don't think I will eat all of them right now. Like I said, I'm going to save these for class this week or for lunches this week, but these are really, really good. I really recommend them. So they are Pringles Screaming Dill Pickle Chips, uh, which you can usually find in your grocery store. I know Walmarts have them. As long as you like dill pickles like I do and you like potato chips, then this should be a no-brainer. You should go ahead and grab this. Now, if you're Brad Jones, uh, the Cinema Snob, and you hate dill pickles, then no, don't eat these because it's just going to make you mad and it's not worth it. So that's it for this episode of Pete Eats. Thanks for watching. Uh, more uh, unsealed stuff coming this week. Until then, see ya.